Talking to Mickey uh, Collins after the 2 0 win against uh, Fisher on Saturday. Um, three points, but uh, hard work and um, one or two uh, knocks coming out of it as well. Yeah, a couple of people have picked knocks up and um, we'll have to look at that during the week, see how they, um, see how they are. But um, I don't think it's anything too serious, so I'm not overly fussed about it. But um, yeah, we made hard work of it again today. But um, three points and a clean sheet. And uh, yeah, with your centre half in goal, it's um, always nice to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, talk us through that. Uh, you know, uh, you arrive here half an hour before the game, and uh, Rob French is warming up, and then uh, he's not fit enough to uh, play in the game. Yeah, he, he got a little tweak in the um, in the warm up, and um, we decided between us all that it was probably best that we rested him and um, just made sure that he didn't aggravate it and rip steps up. And um, you know, he's just quality comes in and, and goes and plays in goal and makes a couple of good saves and keeps a clean sheet. And um, that's what you want from your cavalier centre half. Indeed, and you know he was probably relishing a clean sheet, but he, uh, he made a great block from the nine uh, very late on in the game, which uh, you know kept uh, kept the shot out and and earned you a clean sheet. Yeah, I, I think you know he wasn't a goalkeeper that didn't have, didn't have anything to do, so he's actually earned the clean sheet. It's not one of those where we, we've just defended everything well for him and he hasn't touched it. I mean, the kids had plenty of time to slot it, and he's come out, made himself big, and, and waited and made the save with his legs and. Uh, I mean, if Frenchie had made that save, we'd have, we'd have been chuffed for him. And, uh, yeah, I said, you know, he, he's immense, Ripley. And that's I expect no less from him. You know, he, we take it for granted a bit. But um, to come in and, and an 8 out of 10 performance in goal, that's fantastic. And he's just committed himself to the club for next season, which I know you're pleased about. Yes, he has. We've had that chat. And, um, you know, he's, he's said he wants to be here. So, you know, that's brilliant. It's a positive for us. And, um, you know, he had that horror injury and he's come back from it and um, I just think he's he's playing his best football now again he's got his mojo and, and um, he looks it and then he steps in today and, and does what he does for us it's, um, he's a proper clubman you know he, I think Seven Oaks is close to his heart and he proves it every time he steps on the pitch for us and uh, of course one of his highlights at the other end was scoring that hat-trick early in the season so he's done it at both ends now <laughs> yes he has yeah he has and uh, yeah it's been um, yes yeah, you know a lot of them have had some positive seasons and uh, yeah, I think that's why we're, we're, we're third in the league and we've cemented that and and um, yeah, and we've got a final to look forward to. Indeed. And you made the point uh, on Twitter the other day um, that you know, you've uh, guided the club to the best finish since 1883. Uh, you, know, you can walk away at the end of the season looking forward to the cup final, but that's a, that's a, a tremendous achievement uh, by all concern, really. It's, um, it's been a massive season. Um, and we had to, you know, we finished the season so well last year and, and, you know, to finish fifth was a bit of a disappointment, but it was still progression from the season before. Um, and of course we wanted to win it um, and second place would have been great, but we haven't um, and we've finished third. And to finish third behind two clubs that um, financially are on a different planet to us, really, um, you know, we've got to hold, up, hold our heads high and, and think we've had a great season, you know, with an FA Cup run. It's not very often you go into a football club that's been around since 1883 and, and you go in as manager or and, and as players and you can actually write history. And at the moment, we seem to be doing it season on season. Um, and now we've got the cup final and we, we can write history again if we can go and win the first senior honours. Um, that's a credit to everyone, not just me. That's Paul, the directors, the, you know, the committee, everyone behind the scenes that makes it possible. And then we come in and do the football thing. And my management team and the players. It's a great club, you know, from, from six-year-olds right the way through to our vets team. Yeah. We're one club and, and we've proved that and we've united it here and we've shown what can be done on and off the pitch. And the, the thing is with it, that's not the end of it. I know that we're not even at top peak yet. I know that. Um, I've been aware of that most of the season and I know there's a lot more to come from us, again, with the development and with what we can do on the pitch. Um, and to finish the season now we have and... and break records again, it's positive, massively positive.